Okay. All right, great. So I want to welcome everybody. My name is Joni. I'm one of the registered dietitians and regional nutritionists with the Giant Company. And just so you're aware, the Giant Company is Giant Food Stores and Martin's Food Markets. And this session is being recorded so that you can view it later or send it to somebody that you may want to have it. Um, and at the end, I'll give you our YouTube channel where we're housing them all. Our sessions last about 15 minutes and our nutritionists are in line Monday through Friday. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for about 15 minutes, 11 in the morning is mini chef mornings is what they call them. Or fun little food activities for, that your kids can enjoy. Maybe read a book or do an activity with it. Tuesday and Thursdays are adult focused with Thursdays at four o'clock being focused on produce. And Tuesdays we have different topics that we want to share with you. And today I chose the Mediterranean diet. And why I love it is for its anti-inflammatory properties. And right now that seems really relevant. So I am going to share my screen with you if you give me a second. Great. And we're going to go through, made a little PowerPoint presentation. Great. Get up full screen. And then we will go. Awesome. All right. So again, the giant company, Mediterranean Diet, and my name, Joni Rampola. So Mediterranean Diet, it's anti-inflammatory, which is one of the reasons why I love it. The U.S. News and World Report every year ranks diets. And they have about 35 of the different most popular diets, Mediterranean Diet being one of them. And they are ranked number one, best in diet overall, number one, best in plant-based diets, number one, and best diabetes diet, number one, and best diet for healthy eating. They were actually a tie for number one in that spot. Number one, and the easiest diets to follow. And to me, you follow the diet that you can that's easiest to follow. So that, to me, is huge. And number two, and the best heart-healthy diet. Wow. Wow. So it's popular, people like it, and it gets amazing results. So okay. it's worth to share. So this is just overall the Mediterranean diet. And I don't think of it as a diet. It's more a lifestyle or eating plan. So it's an overall eating lifestyle pattern. It's from the region surrounding the Mediterranean Sea. You can enjoy it with delicious, fresh, affordable foods right from your grocery store. One of the reasons I love it too, you don't have to buy anything special. And it's high in plant-based foods, and we all know that is a great trend right now. And it includes fiber and nutrients from whole, unprocessed, locally grown foods. It's low in sugar, low in trans fat, and highly processed meats and other foods. It does include wine, which is always a good thing, right? <laughs> and that social or communal eating, like okay. being around other people is a part of the Mediterranean diet. Love that. So plant-based foods, what does that mean? It's your fruits, your vegetables, your whole grains, your beans and legumes, your nuts, and your seeds. Typical Mediterranean diet gets five to nine servings. So some servings could be a half a cup, but a lot of them are full cup size daily of your combined fruits and vegetables. So you think the American way, we try and strive for five, and most of us don't even get five, but when you're eating Mediterranean, you're eating a lot more than that. And we'll look at some meals and ways that you can incorporate more fruits and vegetables. Okay. Don't use any butter. They replace butter with a healthy fat, which is typically olive oil, but could be avocado oil as well. It's big on fresh herbs and spices instead of salt. Again, typical America is salted, a lot of things heavily packaged process that uses salt but when you eat Mediterranean and you lose some of the packaging you naturally consume lower salt. They do eat fish and seafood two times each week and they limit red meat to only a few times a month. Okay. So this is the Mediterranean diet pyramid um, and if you look at the very bottom of the pyramid, it's from Old Ways Preserve and Exchange Trust. 
and our website is oldwayspt.org. And Old Ways is a nonprofit organization that's part of the whole the National Whole Grain Council. So their job is promoting whole wheat. So in everything they do, they talk about whole grain as whole grain wheat. But it really could be any whole grain. I just wanted to give you that clarification. So the base of the pyramid every day is be physically active. And part of enjoying meals is being with others. It could be family. It doesn't have to be family. But that enjoyment of food with social interaction really changes how we eat and enjoy food. If you eat in a stressed environment um, or depressed, you're hormonally different and your digestion isn't as well. So eating comfortably, being active, eating with people changes digestion and health. So that is the base of Mediterranean, enjoying meals with people. Then when we look at food every day, the meals are based around and they lump a lot of our different food groups together. So it's very different than our food now plate that was pyramid. Um, but vegetables, fruits, and again, it's really whole grains, but this says whole wheat grains because that's who made it. Your healthy fat like olive oil, your legumes and beans, your nuts and seeds, your fresh herbs and spices. So all that should be the basis of your everyday eating. And then at least twice a week having fish and seafood, which makes sense because this diet was made from the regions around the Mediterranean Sea, right? So they had fresh seafood all the time. And seafood actually is a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. So really helpful fat that's good for your heart, good for your brain. And on a weekly basis, they would have poultry, eggs, cheese, and yogurt, but they think about it differently than we do. So they may have cheese and yogurt, every, cheese or yogurt every single day, which they do, but we're big on cheese eating. They do a sprinkle on something. Like we make a yogurt and put a little bit of fruit in our yogurt. They do it opposite. They get a bowl of fruit and put a dollop of Greek yogurt on top. So it's just the portion of dairy or other meats that is different. And then red meat is much less often. So what I'm calling red meat is your beef, your pork, and your lamb. So pork does a great marketing campaign of the other white meat, but they're really a red meat. They just try and separate themselves out because red meat, as most people know, is not good for your heart. So in that less often will be your processed meats and your red meat and then sweets, sugar. So Fried food, sugar, red meat tend to be inflammatory. The lower half of the pyramid are things that prevent inflammation in your body or decrease inflammation. So it's a whole diet based on making your body healthier. And they do eat sweets on the Mediterranean diet, but they save them for special occasions, such as a birthday, a wedding, a celebration of some sort. That's when they have those sweet foods. And then on the left, we see wine. So wine is a glass of wine, and if you're a male, two glasses of wine. If you're female, one is pretty much consumed with the meal. So usually the evening meal. Um, it's never to get drunk. It just it's help to relax, calm when you're eating your meal. So it does lower blood pressure. And when you have red wine, or it could even be. Concord grape juice or berries. It doesn't have to be wine. If you don't drink wine, don't start drinking wine. But if you have red wine with the meal, it does prevent your arteries from being clogged from the fat that you're eating. Mm. So it does help. And so do berries or grape juice in the same fashion. And then to okay. keep hydrated. Water is great for hydration. And we need it. And actually, if you're hydrated enough, usually people eat less because they mistaken thirst as hunger. Wow. So this is technically not a diet. It's really like they're my plate, like what they follow, what they try to follow every day. Right. It's a lifestyle. Okay. Wow. Yep. But it's a healthy look. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> See my face there on the words. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so shop smarter. I like to say follow the 80-20 rule. And I, I use that 80-20 for no matter what you're trying to follow. But just to be specific to the Mediterranean diet, I'm gonna say if 80% of what you put in your cart when you're shopping follows that bottom of the pyramid, so your fruits, your vegetables, your whole grains, your olive oil, avocado, nuts, seeds, peanut butter, almond butter, everything in that category that was the bottom of the pyramid, if that is 80% and save 20% of your cart for other things, which could be red meat, a sweet, eggs, poultry, um, all the other things that you might eat. That's a great, great combination. In our food stores, we use the Guiding Stars program, which is our nutritional navigation program to help you quickly find foods with the most nutritional value. So if you're just looking for foods that might be better for you, so they have more um, fiber, whole grains, vitamins, minerals, omega-3 fatty acids. So it's a computerized algorithm, and when it comes out the other side, either it gets no stars, one star is a good food item, two stars is a better food item, three stars is the best food item. And you could find these stars. We have the price tag. If it's underneath the price tag, you'll see the little man with the stars above his head. We call that a bib tag. We're trying to move it to the actual price tag like you see on the right hand side here. It's next to the price. However, in our stores, there's no blue man when he's next to the price. It just is the stars. So you'll see one star there, two stars, or three stars. So that's a great way to find foods that are just naturally a little bit better for you, better nutritional value. Now I'm going to give you eight actions to eat Mediterranean if you wanted to change your diet a little bit. First one is eat more vegetables. Whatever you're doing now, find a way to incorporate more vegetables into your meals. Can you fill half of your lunch and dinner plate with vegetables? Try a meatless meal at least once a week. So in the pictures that I have here, like one is a vegetable pizza, has lots of Mediterranean style vegetables on it, or this is a vegetable skewer, just vegetables and butternut squash lined up some corn. The bottom is a black bean burger with mushroom and then the vegetables on top. So you're eating only vegetables in these pictures and they can still look and taste delicious. You just have to find a way to be more creative and find foods that you like. Okay. Action steep or Mediterranean number two, change the way you think about meat. In America, we definitely go, what are we having for dinner? Should we have chicken or beef or fish, right? We put the meat in the center of our meal. Mediterraneans don't do that. So when you think about meat, have it be what I'll call either a small amount or a condiment or the side. So if I'm looking at these pictures on the top, I have a beef stew. So you're, you're eating beef, but right, vegetables are half of my plate. Or maybe it's a soup. There's meat in there, but vegetables are half of my plate. Or the bottom right is a fajita, and it's just in the pan. It didn't yet go in the bread wrap. But there's meat in there, but you're eating vegetables and a whole grain wrap. Okay. And then a stir fry. There's meat in there, but you have just your ton of broccoli and peppers and cabbage, lots of vegetables in there. And it's the vegetable component. The more vegetables you eat, the healthier your diet becomes. Okay. Then action number three would be enjoy a daily serving of yogurt or cheese. And I know a lot of people don't eat dairy, and I would say that's okay. You can find a way to either substitute dairy or do what works best for you, but in Mediterranean diet, they definitely incorporate dairy pretty much daily, but it's in small amounts. It's never, mm -hmm. let me eat a block of cheese. That would never happen. So like in these pictures, they have a little bit of yogurt um, as their dairy with some seeds and whole grains and strawberries and blueberries on top, and that would be a meal, or they make their Greek yogurt into a dip for their vegetables, which I do too. I actually add, my favorite is I add a dry powder ranch dip to Ooh. yogurt and it tastes good as a dressing or as a dip to dip vegetables in. You're getting the health benefit of the Greek yogurt, little protein in there. And then on the right side, the two pictures, one is just a tossed salad that has some mozzarella cheese balls in it or a casserole that has some feta cheese on top. 
So just different ways you can incorporate your dairy, but it's the, they're not doing huge amounts of dairy. It's just a secondary to whatever the dish is. And the dish always includes fruits and vegetables, no matter what it is they're eating. Okay. Include more whole grains. Whole grains provide more nutrients and fiber, which can help you stay fuller longer. So the top right picture is oatmeal, even though it looks really runny. I like my oatmeal thicker than that. But includes they put chia seeds and nuts and berries on top to make it a meal. The top left is a whole grain rice stuffed portobello mushroom. So in typical Mediterranean style, the olives and maybe avocado and spices and tomato in a mushroom cap. The bottom is a whole grain pasta made Mediterranean style. And the bottom right is a piece of whole grain bread with ricotta cheese. So there you're getting the little bit of your cheese and then topped with Mediterranean cucumber and tomato and olives, maybe even avocado. So yeah, just different ways to include whole grains. And I will say if you're looking at bread, bread can be tricky or misleading because a lot of the front of the package might say made with whole grain, but that doesn't mean that that product is a whole grain. You can have 20% whole grain and it can say made with whole grain. So you want to look for the first ingredient being a whole, okay. whole grain, or maybe a whole wheat as a first ingredient. All right, choose better for you fat. So we have two pictures here. The top one is very Mediterranean fats. So that would be your olive oil, fat from fish, avocado, any nuts or seeds. And the bottom is just kind of typical American diet <laughs> fat or fried foods, <laughs> hot dogs, french fries, etc. So when you think of Mediterranean fats, they do not clog your arteries. They actually lower your cholesterol levels, help maintain your triglyceride levels. They don't, they lower your bad cholesterol. They raise your good cholesterol where the fats in the typical American diet do the opposite. They raise your bad cholesterol and they lower your good cholesterol. Um, up to 30, according to the American Heart Association, up to 35% of the diet can be fat. So if you're eating that typical 2,000 calories a day, it's about 77 grams. And I will say typical American, I mean, typical Mediterranean diet does 35 to 40% of the diet coming from fat. So they're a little bit mm -hmm. higher, but I'm, I'm going with American Heart Association recommendations since we are in the U.S. Okay. All right, then eat seafood twice per week. So the bottom right picture is just salmon on a plate. Like that's typically how we eat our meat, just meat on a plate. But then others are more Mediterranean. Um, on top of that is a tuna pasta salad, just a way to get your meat in with everything else. To the left of that is a fish taco. So different way to get in that seafood. And then the bottom is a paella, which is rice and seafood mix. So fish actually has that healthy fat for your brain, for your heart, the tuna, herring, salmon, any shellfish, sardines, anchovies, all really good for your heart and brain. Okay. And then here too. For dessert, they don't eat sugar, they eat fruit. So just different ways to enjoy fruit, whether it's just plain, and I put a picture of blueberries, but it could be any fruit mixed up all together in a fruit salad. And fruit salad is a great way to get some herbs in there as well. This one probably has mint in there or basil is nice. You can kebab or skewer your fruit to make for a nice dish. Oh and this is a watermelon pizza. Um, watermelon, a dab of yogurt and then some fruit and herbs or you know I've even done balsamic vinegar on the watermelon little drizzle is kind of nice and if you could see behind it is a little bit of yogurt bark which is yogurt with fruit that is frozen and eaten as well. 
So save that sweet treat for the rare occasion. Like let a treat actually be a treat. We have a treat with every meal. You know, the more it's pushed out, the more special it becomes. Okay. And then to live Mediterranean, look for ways to just be active together. And the together is important too, because it, it's just the bonding helps with overall general wellness and feeling good. So it's more than just good food, it's activity, bike, swim, dance, walk, stop, whatever your exercise of choice is, find something to do that you love and makes you happy. And if you can do it with somebody, better. And then this is our table at Giant. So just bringing people around the table for a meal just changes family dynamics. Like that's where memories happen. And we hope to bring you foods that help you be more Mediterranean and bring people together around the table. Love that. So this is a picture of our team of nutritionists with the Giant Company. Want to thank you for attending today. Our YouTube channel, if you want to catch this one or any other is Healthy at Home with Giants Nutritionists for a replay. If you go to either our sites, Martin's Foods or Giant Food Stores, the way to find the sign up for our next one, it got complicated. Maybe you can help with that, Serena. <laughs> Upper yeah. left hand corner is this little menu bar, those three bars. When you click on that, you see the menu come up, you can scroll down and then click on Wellness. And when you're on the wellness page, there's a tab for our nutritionists. You click on that, and on that page, you'll see all the faces of the nutritionists that work for either Giant or Martins, whatever site you're on. The bottom, when you scroll down, that's where you'll see events, and you can click on it and sign up for any of our events. We hope to see you again, and I hope you enjoyed this information. <laughs>